Hey guys, my name is Samia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, on this channel, I come out with two new videos every week about wedding photography education. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And today I'm going to be talking about how to set up a website for photography business owners. Okay, so no matter what stage you are at in your business, a website is a must have even if you're only a week into your business to display your portfolio and to establish yourself as a photographer. I'm going to be talking about what I use to make my website. So I use Bluehost for hosting my domain and last time I checked it was $80 for the year and then I use Showit as the software template to make it look pretty and actually make the website. So Showit is a little bit on the more expensive side in terms of running a website. You can use Wix or something cheaper for or free. Uh, show it is $29 a month for a subscription, which is a little bit expensive, but it's super, super easy to use and there's a lot of capability in show it that I feel like it's worth the $29, $29 a month if you can afford it. In the beginning of my business, I used Wix, so that was like totally fine when I was first starting because I didn't have $29 a month to dedicate to a website. So start wherever you are. I'm gonna show you how show it works if you want to consider using it for your website. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna show you um, the inside of Show It. So first, if you go to showit.co, you can see here um, like on their website that they have different designs. So down here, scroll down, you can um, filter this by free or by the price you wanna spend on the template. And what's nice is this is kind of, t all their templates are really tailored towards photographer websites. Um, you can filter it here, but it's already defaulted to photography because it's kind of made for photographers. And then even more than that, you can even filter it by like the style of photography. So if you're light, you can go here. If you want to be, you know, have a darker look, go here. Um, so they are always coming out with new templates. I already like all these and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to change my website. But um, don't get into the trap of changing your website all the time. So yeah, you can pick out your template here. And then if you go inside, so once you figure out your template and hook it up to your domain, once you get an account, this is what the inside of show it actually looks like. So I'll just show you the basics around here. So this bright part right here shows you the mobile version of your website. And then this part over here shows you the desktop version. Okay, and then on the panel on the left, you have site settings. So here, this is the name of your site. This is what pops up when someone types in your website. And then here's where you, is where you will link your blog. So the blog that I'm using is WordPress and it's linked to this show it account. So that's how that works. And then right here, um, well, I'll show you this too. Design settings, you can like put your branding colors in here and like all the, the text you want it to look like all over your website. So that's really helpful to keep it consistent. And then here are all your pages. So um, this is my homepage, just says Sammy Studios because that's what I want to pop up in the tab. So you can edit your different pages. So I'll show you this one, like this is the homepage. And um, like if I wanted to just edit the desktop version of that, this is what I would do. So I want to show you a couple things about Show It. So the first is that it's really good at um, photography portfolios. So let me show you, so like this is my portfolio and I can go in here, um, to like my ceremony portfolio, let's say. And it's really easy to upload photos to this and make them look good. And also to change the setting over here on the right of gallery to, if you want to just decide you want a different type of gallery, change it to tile, change it to sliding. So not all website platforms are this good at like making it easy to change the way your photos are displayed. So you just make a gallery and you just upload all your best images here. So it's really, really easy to use for that. Okay, that's like one of my favorite things about it. The next is it's um, embedding kind of like capability. So down here you can embed things into your website. So like this is an embedded contact form from HoneyBook and I got, you go into HoneyBook and you go to the contact form section in HoneyBook and say, and give me an embed code, copy it and paste it here. And all you would do inside here is add right here, down here at the bottom, add embed code and then paste this here. And this is connecting you to HoneyBook. So when someone fills this out, it automatically populates in my HoneyBook with all this information. So that's really, really helpful. Okay, and then the next thing I just wanted to show you was how easy it is to like link things. So um, like if I go to my four photographers page, it was easy to make this page. If someone was to hit this link, I can, let me move myself, I can go over here and just hit click actions and it will link me to wherever it is I want someone to go. So you just click on this and the links will be configured. Um, actually, I actually realized this is not linking properly, so I have to fix that. But 
um, that's really helpful. And then same down here, you can just click on click actions. So anywhere, anyone, someone, anywhere, anytime anyone, some, anytime someone clicks on something, you have capability of redirecting them to where you want them to go. You would just click here. What do you want them to go to? A URL, page, send you a text, phone, whatever. So that's really nice. And then the next thing that you can embed is like an email list thing, which is super easy. So any embed code you want to put into your website is really easy to do with show it. So like this is my mailing list for photographers. Um, I did this through Flowdesk, like went to the system and got an embed code. And then same thing as the HoneyBook contact form. I just hit embed code here and then pasted the code into this info section here. So yeah, you can see this is where I pasted it and then Make sure it looked good, and you can also, myself, um, like go into mobile and make sure everything looks good in mobile. So that's really, really helpful. Okay, and then the next thing I wanna show you is the footer. It's easy to connect to your Instagram. So for this, I actually used Snap Widget because I wanted to display, I think, more than three photos from Instagram. It's like you go to Snap Widget's website and then you can put your Instagram in and they'll make you an embed code here to make your I think I don't remember what it was, but I think it's you can have more posts. But basically, same idea here. When someone clicks on this or this or this, I can just go into click actions and be redirecting them to my Instagram. So super super easy to use. Um, okay, the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the blog part of this. So if you go down here, this is a blog template. So sorry here. Okay. So let's just use desktop for some simplicity so this is how the blog template works since the content for the blog is actually coming from wordpress this is just going to be what it looks like so here all these pages were for your website like static content that does not change and then this blog part is what's going to change when you upload a blog post so it looks like there's one but it's really technically like it's just split up like this is the three posts and then they will just keep repeating themselves down so it's really easy to change the front of your blog that displays each photo shoot from here you can change the text whatever and then also you can mess with what a single post looks like which is really nice for photographers because you can come in here and decide how wide you want this and then that will dictate how wide you want the photos to show on your blog but you get the idea like it's really nice for blogging to like make everything really customizable and really look good Okay guys, that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to download the freebie on how to book more weddings, you can do that down below. But otherwise, make sure to subscribe and I will see you on here later this week. I also have a Facebook group for photographers that you can join in the link below. But either way, thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot and I will see you later.